Salix alba, white willow. These are trees attaining 50 to 70 feet in height, often with a weeping or rounded form. Foliage is deciduous, alternate. Leaves have an acuminate shape and are often one and a half to up to four inches long and about one and a quarter to five eighths inches wide. In other words, very long and narrow. They have serulate margins and a petiole that's about a quarter to a half an inch in size. The top side of the leaf is usually a medium to slightly dark green where the underside will be silky white giving it a two-tone color and the white silky underside gives the common name white willow as well as the specific epithet alba. Ornamental features include yellow brown to corky or ridged or furrowed bark at maturity although when younger these can often be much more smooth. The fruit is a two-valve capsule containing seeds with silky hairs and catkins for flowers. The terminal bud is absent and lateral buds are a quarter inch long, rounded and smoothed, and may have a silky downy covering. Stems tend to be slender and yellow-green when young and smooth or shining or dull at moderate maturity. Cultural information for Salix alba. These are hardy from zones 2 to 9, will do best in full sun, tolerate soil pH 5.0 to 8.0, acidic to alkaline. Insect and disease problems for Salix alba include different types of blights, cankers, scab, anthracnose, powdery mildew, etc. Among the willows, Salix alba is one of the best upright forms for landscape use. As a fast-growing tree, it is susceptible to ice and wind damage, although are reported to be tougher than poplar trees. These tend to be a somewhat dirty tree and not well suited for a street side application because of leaf, twig, and branches constantly dropping. In a less frequently used lawn or open space, these may be considered less of an issue. Salix alba are easily transplanted with fibrous spreading and suckering root systems and do best in moist conditions. These can often also be found naturalizing in riparian type areas. 